This is my third video on capitalization. In this video, I will be focusing on proper nouns. Before I get started, a few things to know is that nouns are people, places, and things. However, proper nouns are always capitalized because they are specific. Early in, earlier in this video series, I talked about nouns and I explained the different kinds of nouns that you can have. Common nouns, proper nouns, singular nouns, plural nouns. So proper nouns are the specific nouns that are capitalized. In this video, I will explain which types of words need capital letters and I will share examples of sentences with proper nouns. When I'm sharing those examples, you'll probably see common nouns in those sentences too, but I'm focusing on just the proper nouns this time. I've made some categories for our proper nouns, and these aren't necessarily all of the possible categories, just some categories that I think are helpful to remember. So, names, titles, so when you think of titles, you could think of it in a couple of different ways, and I'll explain that soon. Places, months, days of the week, calendar holidays. So when I say calendar holidays, I mean that these are holidays that are recognized around the world as being holidays. Ethnic groups. My example here is Australian. There's lots of different ethnic groups that, that you could have. African, American, Canadian. So an ethnic group is just a group of people that are all from the same place. So when I talk about names, names as proper nouns, I want to give you some examples of what names could include. So names could include people, pets, businesses, companies, organizations, cars, brands, buildings, landmarks. Let's look at my list of names again. We have three different possibilities, or sorry, two different possibilities for people. Gary, Sidney Crosby, and then Spot is meant to be my idea for a pet. Although I guess you could have a person named Spot, if possible. And then Frog Rapids Camp you could think of that as a place if you wanted to, um, but it's also a business. So, you know, again, these are just categories that I've that I've made. Um, as long as you understand that it's a proper noun, that's what matters. The Royal Ballet is a company, a specific ballet company. EA Sports. That's a company that makes games, sports games, a gaming company. NHL is actually an acronym that stands for the National Hockey League. So the NHL would be an organization. And we have a specific type of car, a Corvette. Now... You might not know this, but Kleenex, you know, a lot of times we use Kleenex a lot. We ask if you need a Kleenex or something. Kleenex is a brand, so it's always capitalized. And then the last one here is Eiffel Tower. So you might think of the Eiffel Tower as being a building. You could also think of it as being a landmark. Landmarks are places that that are very popular to go to their their tourist attractions. Okay, talking about these two different titles, Mr. and Mayor. So a title could be like a job title, or it could be how a person is addressed. And when somebody is given a title, 
they're in a position of authority. So a mayor, a vice principal, uh, and, and Mr. is just one example of how someone could be addressed. Other ways, Ms., Mrs., Miss. And then don't forget about places, months, days of the week, calendar holidays, and ethnic groups. I wanted to share some sentences with you. And in all of my sentences, I have circled the proper nouns. So remember that these sentences could still have nouns in them, common nouns, right? There will be common nouns in these sentences, but I've only circled the proper nouns. And remember, proper nouns are always capitalized. So they should be easy to find, but uh, I've circled them anyway. So let me go through my sentences. This is my first page for you. Number one, Frog Rapids Camp is a nice place to stay if you like fishing. So Frog Rapids Camp is the proper noun. Sentence two, there are many incredible dancers at the Royal Ballet. So the Royal Ballet is the full name of the company and sometimes it can be tricky. Uh, sometimes companies will have the in as part of their name and sometimes they won't. So do your best with that. Sometimes you might have to to Google it to know for sure. According to EA Sports, the best overall player in the NHL is Sidney Crosby. So all this is saying is that if you play a, a hockey game that's made by EA Sports, they'll have Sidney Crosby as the best overall player. I don't actually know who the best player would be. We could debate that all day. This is just a sentence for an example. So EA Sports, that's the, a company. That's what makes it a proper noun. NHL is an organization. That's what makes that a proper noun. Sidney Crosby, of course, is the name of a specific person. Sentence four. Mr. Almond... Mayor of Treetown always drives his Corvette on the logging road. This is my favorite sentence that I made up. Made up the name Mr. Almond. And you can see his title as well, right? Mr. And then his last name, Almond. And then another way to think of his title, his job title, is Mayor. So that is also capitalized. That's also a proper noun. Made up of place, tree town, and then of course the car, Corvette. Number five. My dog Spot will go to the vet on Monday, March 6th. So we have Spot, Monday, March. Okay, four more. Number six. We are lucky to live in northwestern Ontario. Northwestern Ontario is a region, a specific region, so it's a proper noun. Number seven. Gary likes to travel south in the winter, but he always stays home at Christmas. So we have a name and a holiday. Gary, Christmas. Number eight. The weather is much warmer in South America. South America is a continent. Number nine. Do you need a Kleenex? So remember that Kleenex is a brand, so it will always be capitalized. Number ten. There was a group of Australian tourists at the Eiffel Tower. So we have an ethnic group, Australian, and Eiffel Tower, depending on what you would want to call it, is either a building or a landmark. Well, I hope this video was helpful, 
and I look forward to the next one.